Unboxing the iPhone 12 Pro. The iPhone 12 Pro went on sale in Australia from 8am on Friday, 23 October. The first thing you notice is the fact that the box has a lightning cable with a USB-C end, but no charging brick and no headphones in the box. Many people already have headphones, but I'm not convinced that the majority of purchasers will have a USB-C charging brick. Looking at the phone and doing a comparison to the iPhone 11 Pro, there are several key differences. The first difference that stands out, square edges, which is a design change Apple started with the iPad Pro and something many have described as reminiscent of the iPhone 4 or iPhone 5, albeit we've moved ahead in most other areas. The screen is increased from 5.8 inches on the iPhone 11 Pro to 6.1 inches, but the physical size is only increased marginally. The height is up by 2.7 millimeters. The width is increased by 0.1 millimeters. The thickness has reduced by 0.7 millimeters. And the weight? Up by a gram. Overall, the screen resolution has increased marginally from 458 physical pixels per inch to 460 ppi. Note also that the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro are identically in physical size and cases are interchangeable between the two. The night photography has been improved on the wide camera with an improved aperture of f1.6 from f1.8 Plus, a LiDAR scanner has been added to the rear camera array. Dolby Vision has also been introduced up to 60 frames per second. This relies on the improved computational power of the new A14 Bionic chip. RAM is increased by 2 gigs up to 6 gigabytes, and the base memory size is now 128 gigabytes instead of 64 gigs, with an option for 256 gigs or 512. The battery, somewhat surprisingly, has been reduced to 2,815 mAh with a reduction of one hour down to 17 hours of multimedia usage time. Fast charging has increased slightly from 18 watts to 20 watts, but the big change in charging is in wireless. The iPhone 11 Pro wireless charging uses 7.5 watts, but the iPhone 12 Pro is capable of wireless charging at 15 watts. <laughs> but only with an improved MagSafe charger. Water resistance has improved from 2 metres to 6 metres for the same 30 minutes, which still gives it an IP68 rating. There are two changes in colour choices. Silver and gold remain, but space grey and midnight green have been replaced by graphite and Pacific blue. This is the Pacific blue. And of course, the October 2020 iPhone announcements all had one thing in common, 5G. The iPhone 12 Pro 5G, with a bigger screen, better photography and videos, better wireless charging and 5G, what's not to like?